Hello, be friends, much here. Back in another video. Today, we are going over the Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube's Wave 1 plushies. Without further ado, we're starting off with the original classic band with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. I don't have Freddy and Bonnie right now because we're reviewing those two first. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, to start, start off with Freddy Fazbear himself. The torso is torso and legs are just basic chibi style. You have some embroidering for the toes, and you have number you have a segmented part for stomach that's sewn on in light tan. You have a very soft black bow tie. We'll get into like the other ones that aren't soft later, but Freddy has a soft hot top hat and bow tie. Then on the back, you have the paper YouTube's logo with the Five Nights Freddy's licensing with 2022 S coffin. And you have this long bead thing. I don't know what it's called, but like this is different what they used to do because Freddy with the designers opening this up with the YouTube eyes. It says, Thanks for collecting me. Five Nights at Freddy's Design in Canada, the Choking Hazard. And on the back, you had the Freddy Rainbow Silhouette instead of like this being like the legal information. Then you have his bear tail. Nothing much, honestly. Bear tail. Nice, nice little lump of fabric with some stuffing in it. Then for the arms are just basically the same thing on each side, but they are quite big compared to like the others. Because like you do have two indentations on there for his fingers. That's on both sides. Alright, now starting off with Freddy's head. As you can see here, he has a soft black nose with some soft black fabric. You have three freckles embroidered on. His mouth is embroidered on a little lopsided on mine, but it varies person to person. You have YouTube's eyes in blue on both sides, with the fabric being in the middle and with a soft fabric. You have embroidering on for the outside of the eyes and the eyebrows. You have a dark brown inside of the middle of the ears. You also have stuffing in the ears too, in a light in a lightish brown color. You also have a black soft boat hat top hat. And he does, he does look pretty accurate to Freddy. And he does have also um, a little bit of his, his like, um, his little bit of, you know, the little fluff outside of his, uh, uh, the outer side of his head. But yeah, so I'm not going to rate these considering how old these are. But yeah, let's move on to Bonnie. Alrighty, next up here we have his Bonnie the Bunny. Alright, now with Bonnie, as you can see here with his torso... As you can see here, it's basically the same as Freddy Fazbear's, except it's a little bit different. Instead of him having, like, you know, bigger arms and thinner legs, he actually has more proportionate styled legs and arms. And I will say this, I realized, I realized this recently, that, like, on the back of his feet, he has more of those um, embroidered textures for his toes on the back of his... I don't know if this is an air on the back of his legs... Because I haven't seen a review on these in a while. So the tag here is just the older style of YouTube tag that has a stylized silhouette and the body with the designers. It says, thanks for collecting me, Five Nights at Freddy's, and all the legal information. And it folds back up. And you can you can take this off, it's just a little difficult. Then for his paws are exactly the same as the legs, except it's like, wait, are these the legs? No, they're not. Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah, so these are exactly the same as the legs to a degree. It's just like it doesn't have that little metal section inside it. So I feel like with the legs and arms are like kind of like a mix mash maybe. But yeah, I mean, I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I got this. His, his, his inside of his stomach is in brighter purple. You have a bright red bow tie. This is different compared to his original one. Not his original, his sitting down counterpart. His sitting down counterpart has a softer, soft dark red bow tie. All right, so this is a little bit harder to get on to, sp to show off because this is a decently small light box, but his ears can bend because it has wire inside them. I'm not going to bend them too much, but you can see they're bent a little bit. But yeah, with Bonnie, he has red eyes, red U2's eyes, so the black in the middle. This is actually embroidered on and then not the actual felt material that Freddy uses. And I think a few others. And you have black embroidering around the eye around from socket of the eyeball and that's on both sides you have three freckles which is inaccurate I'm not gonna go into these like rating these because they're super old and have better better variants that are still available 
You have his little smile, and I'd say mildly soft nose. But yeah, that's it for Bonnie. Let's move on to Chica. All right, next off here we have is Chica, the chicken. All right, starting off with her body. As you can see here, she has her Let's Eat bib, and that's completely printed on. It does have a little hint of green in there. For some odd reason, it's like purple, then it has an orange, and it has a, like a lightish highlighter yellow greenish color. You have all speckles across it. Then you have her t her feet are unfortunately printed for half of it. But you do have two chicken toes in gray. I feel like this is more of a help wanted design because I feel like that has the um, gray design, not the um, white design. Or it's the original, I like, really don't remember. Here is the back with the knot of the bib. And the tag is all the same as all the others. It says Chica on the front or back. Then you have the silhouette at the back with Chica with her bib highlighted and her eyes highlighted. Opening it up, it says, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, thanks for collecting me, all the legal information. But yeah, let's get on to her upper head, then we'll move on to Foxy. Alright, so with Chica here, she looks very, very adorable. I will say that, but like, like there's really nothing much to say about this. It's because like, this head is basically perfect, and it's the same one that he used for Chica version 2, which is sitting down. But yeah, you have two tufts of fur on the side in yellow. Her whole base body is yellow. She has some orange printed on for her chicken feet. Then her toes are in gray, fully felt. Not fully felt, but fully fabric. She has a little bit of printing on her bib. Just going over this again. Then she has like, I guess more of a ballish shape for her snout. And her chicken beak. Then she has like a little divot in there for her smile embroidered on. She has her eyelashes embroidered on with the lavenderish in her eye. Lavenderish or pinkish in her eye. Then you have her eyebrows that are embroidered on in black. As you can see right here, they're embroidered on in black. That's on both sides. And her hair is very unique. It's a different style compared to most chicas. Because most chicas is like, oh, you have like four tufts of hair. But this one only has two, which is a unique unique design for Chica, honestly. I will say that. It's really, really cool. Alright, lastly for today's video, we have is Foxy the Pirate Fox. So let's get started. Alright, so starting off with Foxy. He's looking a little boxy. Sorry, I had to mention that. So, he is completely printed for the most part. His pants and his, like, snout area and his... Basically everything's printed except for a few areas. You have it you have his hair patch right here. Which is fully glued on. You can't move it. It's just stuck like this. You have a tan for the torso. Red for the outer red printed on for the outer outer fur. You have gray for the hand, which does have some endoskeleton detailing. That's printed on in black. You have his little fox tail, which they did improve on this with the um, with the sitting down version. Link in description below to most of those videos. But yeah, you have a little you hit for his tip. It's in you know like the tannish color with the red for the tail. And there's no embroidering on this. It's just fully printed. And on the back of the legs, same issue as Bonnie's, where he has like for like it has the front and back on both sides for some odd reason. I mean, they could have just excluded this and just had some, you know, just keep it, remove the toes, keep this on the back, honestly. Same paper tag as all the others. Then you have the Foxy tag. It says Foxy with the designers. And on the back, it has a silhouette of Foxy with his eye patch and his hook and his eye in white and it rests in a rainbow. Um, the rest is in a rainbow foil color. It says, thanks for collecting me, Five Nights at Freddy's. Choking Hazard and all that. Especially, it doesn't say, like, Chibi Foxy. It just says Foxy. Okay, so before we get into that, um, he has a little hook here. It's fully, like, plush material. Which it feels really, really nice. I'm glad they improved on him a lot with the sitting down version. This one is abysmal, I will say that. You have more printing on the side of his arms. And more of that, like, endoskeleton hand detailing. Not, like basic hook detailing. This looks more like an endoskeleton hand than it does a hook. 
If they got rid of this, these two lines right here, or at least a middle one, it would look more presentable as a hook, or and make this a completely black one of those two. It would look more like a hook, but like this does looks like just like an endoskeleton hand with a hook plopped on. Alright, then for Foxy's head here, as you can see here, it's just your standard Foxy, Foxy design. I think it's the exact same as the, yeah, it's the same, same exact one that's sitting, except it's made out of a printed material, not like a actual felt material. But yeah, you have these in red. It's all in red. Yeah, it's all printed because you can see on the sides right here, it has some printing on here. But he does have his tufts on the side of his head. His ears are mostly printed. I didn't realize these were like partially printed, partially not printed. But inside the ears that are inside the ears that are brown is not printed. But like the, around the ears, the full ear basically is printed. The tufts of hair even are printed, which is abysmal. You have two brown eyebrows right here, two brown eyebrows. Black for the eye with some soft felt in between it, kind of like Freddy's. And you have a blue eye patch, like a navyish blue eye patch. It should have been a dark, dark gray, not a navyish blue, but they fixed that with the later releases. So yeah, I'm gonna rate the wave as a whole, then we're gonna end it off the video. All right, so rating this wave as a whole, honestly, honestly, I would say it's about in the lowish six range. I would say about like a four out of ten or a five out of ten to be generous, like. Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica are really good. Foxy's heavily printed. YRV's like, you know, fully like felt and stuff, but this guy's printed. It makes no sense. This guy's like halfway felt, halfway, mostly printed, half partially felt, or fabric. I'm glad they fixed this, fixed this up with the, you know, sitting variants, which I have already reviewed. But overall, I would say this wave is, it's not worth it, honestly. Like, these are over 100 bucks now. I would say do not buy these. But I like the sitting ones that are still on U2s. But if you're a collector and you want to collect all of these, I'd say get them probably, like, as soon as possible. These were only available for free days. And these costed a pretty penny, honestly. Like, all of these were worth 100 apiece. So, if you're willing to spend that money or more, I'd say buy these. But overall, I would say do not buy these. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.